Say what you're doing. This is, the, <laughs> this is the very first attempt to start the car. Refurbished head is in. Already came with cams intact. Went ahead and threw them into top dead center and got them locked in. And uh, got the new thermostat and thermostat seals. That's the original uh, thermostat housing, but I did get it all nice and cleaned up. So, you know, it's not looking too bad. Uh, like I said, new seal and thermostat in there. Went ahead and got that locked down. Also got a new seal here on this guy. Got that all locked down. Now, to save myself the trouble later on, because this was the worst experience of my life, I'm going to put the exhaust manifold onto the cylinder head before I put it into the car. And there's about this much room, actually probably less than that, probably about that much room to actually reach in there and remove all, what is it, 24 or something of these bolts. Not, not a fun time. So I'm, uh, I'm actually throwing this one on. The other manifold is still in the car uh, because this comes in two separate manifolds. Rip. So I still have to pull that other one off of the exhaust and then I'll throw it on there next to it and uh, start getting all of the components thrown back on there. So literally we can just grab the whole unit, set it down on top of the new gasket, crank it down. Yo, it just looks so aggressive from back here. It looks mean. Got the new head in, thanks to my buddy coming over helping me the other day. Working on getting all the timing chains put in. Uh, luckily, you know, I already, I cinched all of that stuff down so my timing is already good. I had already set the engine to top dead center and the crank, or I'm sorry, the cams are already sent to top set, to, bleh, are already set to top dead center. So everything should be good. I'm just gonna work on getting all of the vanos put together and uh, yeah, we can really start putting it together from there. All right, final torque down is finally done. Whew, that was tiring. Oh yeah, I also lost one of the bolts, so I was gonna have to do. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull off all of my shielding here because if I did everything correctly, when I crank this, the entire engine should turn. So, three, two, one. Don't forget to pull out your tensioner. There you go. Now let's try. Well, everything's turning. All right, so technically the next step is to throw the exhaust manifold on, but I can hear thunder. And I think that fat ass wind might have actually been a sign that some weather's coming. Oh shit, there's a rainbow right there. Oh baby! Yeah, so I went ahead and recovered it, uh, verified that everything is working. When I when I crank it, the whole thing turns. So you know, whatever, whatever the hell that means. So we're good. My golf is pretty much just a rolling garage at this point. Putting only the finest oil in this car from this point on. Whatever the lady was using in it before clearly didn't work because this whatever oil she was putting in is basically plastic all inside the engine now. Uh, you know, mostly due to her overheating it, but probably also not changing it often enough. And uh, you know, etc. etc. So we're putting the good shit. We're putting that good good. Fucking next generation baby. We're also putting in man filter. Cause, cause we're men. We're men around here. All right. So, if you have any kind of self-respect, don't work on an exhaust manifold. All right. Well, I didn't finish putting the exhaust manifold on. It was a horrible experience. I got about four bolts put in each of the exhaust manifolds. 
On a better note though, I am ready to put the valve cover back on, finally, after like a month and a half. So, as you can see, that's the old original gasket and it's uh, pretty crispy on there. So, started breaking it off in hopes to, uh, in hopes to get them off that way, because the late one has ever actually come out. All this came out though, so that's pretty cool. Not expecting that. So yeah, I'm gonna be having fun with that for a while. <laughs> Oopsie, I, I broke it. All right, time to get the intake manifold put on with some brand new gaskets. Sometimes the only way to reach your project is to lay on the bay. Two cranks at a time. We'll get there. <laughs> We're getting there. Ta -da. Got the car all put back together, 100%, including the cold air intake. Now adding the distilled water to the coolant mixture, and then we'll crank it over and see if it runs. Say what you're doing. Uh, this is the very first attempt to start the car. That's what I've had. I've heard it run once for like 15 seconds. Maybe two months. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I know. Yeah, the sunroof works. Oh my goodness. You can see it in the video too. Look. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, it's been a while. There's some dust. Okay, we're getting there. Oh, that's a good idea. We should probably do that. It doesn't smell beautiful. Stinky. It is. 